Hey, what up guys and gals, Holmes here and welcome back to the land of Dark Souls. Alright, so today we're going to be taking on the Darkwoods Forest <laughs> Garden. Yeah. Alright, so that's going to be where we're going to be going. And look at that. Those guys are gone. Let's see what he got to say. I've become separated from my lady. I've scoured near and far, but no sight of her. Where could she have gone? My lady, to think I swore to protect you with my life. Okay. Your Highness, where have you gone? I am entirely to blame for this. Oh, woe is me. I am unworthy, deathly so. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Miracles, was it? Sometimes I lose myself. Pay me no mind. Alright, whatever. Alright, so we're gonna be going to the un uh, the dark woods garden and we're gonna be checking out the new NPC there. Yeah. The covenant. There's gonna be a forest covenant and if you join it. The forest guys will not attack you, and yeah, that's why we're gonna join it. And we can purchase some cool items. That's if you guys want it, you know. Because to purchase those cool items, you're gonna be going to have to go back to Blight Town. Yes, that's right, going back to Blight Town. And you're gonna have to talk to the guy that's gonna be in the Darkwood Garden just to get that item. It's, it's kind of a pain, you know, but if you guys want the item, you're going to have to do that. And I plan on doing that show. That's what I'm going to do. Alright, so the way to the guard, to the dark wood gardens over here. Just wait, and you can talk to Andre, and he'll give you an item for a shortcut. Well, I don't need anything forged, but I do... Want to purchase this crest of Altorius from you, alright? So that's what we're gonna be buying. Hmm. Yeah, might as well buy more arrows. You can never have too much arrows. Alright, now when we come down here, there's this guy right here. Now he's completely optional. You can just run past this guy if you want, or you can choose to fight him. He's not really that tough, but he does have like a grabbing move and he does have a jumping move, so it's kind of a bitch like that. You know, you might have to take a few swing at him. He has a far range attack and he does have a close range attack, so you gotta have to be careful with this guy. And once you kill this guy, he'll drop uh, a demon titanic. And his tail, however, kind of hurts you. I don't know if that's his tail or his little wand there, because it seems like it has a bit of reach. No, I don't. Oh, okay. I think it's his tail, alongside with that stupid wand of his. Ooh, shit! And yeah, that staff really hurts. <laughs> Fucking staff. Nope. Damn it! I can't take him on one go. Trying to save my SS flask here. Well, we will hit a bonfire soon in the dark, in the dark woods garden. There is another bonfire nearby. All right, so he's down, and if once you kill this guy, he's permanently dead. All right, he won't respawn until you run the game over again. So now that's taken care of. Now we're in the un. We're in the Dark Woods Garden, I believe. I don't know why the name doesn't pop up. It should say. <laughs> uh, no, it's not gonna say. It. All right, whatever. So here's a new, whole new, different area. We're gonna get these little bushy guys here. Now be careful, cause these guys can grab you. All right, and if they whip you, it's gonna hurt. Now, and there's gonna be a black knight nearby. 
Oh, right here, Darkwood Garden. Yeah. It's gonna be a guy over there. You can block their attack. You know, two hand, I mean, not two hand, heavy attack. And it takes two hits. Yeah, they're a bit tougher now. Now, here is where we can get the longbow. But we're gonna come back here later, alright, in a bit. We could, that's pretty much where we're gonna be going. Kind of, sort of. Well, yeah, kind of, sort of. <laughs> we're gonna go back there in a bit, but first things first, we're gonna have to. Ow! Yeah, I was really hoping I can take this guy out before his buddy can come over. All right, so that's it for that. Uh, though that's a ring, you have to go all the way around. Now I believe you can jump down here. I think you might die though. But that is a place you can go. So yeah. Hmm. All right, whatever. So what we're gonna do is join up with the Forest Covenant first, and then head on to the. Moonlight Butterfly Boss. Alright, so that's gonna be the plan. And that's what we're gonna do. Alright, so rest of the bonfire here, so this is our checkpoint now. And the Crest of Altorius, the thing we bought from Andre. It's used to open this gate right here. Now, you if you don't wanna waste those twenty thousand souls, you know, you don't have to. This is not the only way to get here, right? There is another way over there. You're gonna have to loop all the way around and then come over from that side. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of a pain. Um, the the place where I said there's gonna be a black knight, that's where you have to go. So it's kind of a pain. And once you first time when you get here, these guys are gonna start coming after you. These are the forest guardians or something. Now these guys will start attacking you, alright, so be careful. And you can farm souls off them, but once you talk to her, they all stop, to talk. They all stop attacking you, so that's one good way to... Traversing the dark, tis but a fairy tale. Of thine own respect. Go not yonder knocking for nothing, I say. Uh, what is the oh, right question here? Indeed. Thou art a strange one. Nevertheless, I feel some liking for thee. I'm Alvina of the Dark Root Wood. I command a clan of hunters who track down defiers of the forest grave. Dost thou say? Wilt thou not join us? Oh, yes, I believe we would suit thee well. Alright, so just hit yes and you'll be able to join the covenant. I believe. <laughs> Let us establish a covenant. Oh, yeah. So, do you want to join the covenant? You know, and abandon the former covenant? Uh, yeah, sure. And here, take us this ring. The cat covenant ring. How well is that ring? It allows for thine summoning. If mine senses reveal intruders, then I will summon thee. Fend them off, sir. I beseech only this. I shall summon others who will by their honor work tirelessly with thee. Thou shalt receive great reward, and whatsoever ye shall pillage, will be thine own. A true agreement, not so. But thou must heed the golden rule. The clan is thine own family. To thine kinsmen forever stay true. Darest not in any attempt to double cross. Have no doubt, such wretchedness never will we tolerate. Alright, so now we're in the Forest Hunter Covenant. 
it's not really called the cat covenant so these guys will stop attacking you but once you like hit these guys your covenant will be broken alright so and everyone's gonna start attacking you so you don't want that to happen and here is the NPC we're gonna have to talk to to make him go to blight town and when you when he's in blight town he sells like these cool items right he sells like um items that you can't get from monsters well I I think you can but it's gonna take forever but he'll sell them to you so yeah that's gonna be that and once you kill him you can get his I think you can get his armor I'm not quite sure about that but I know you can get his sword and shield well yeah I'm Shiva of the East captain of the brigade let's teach you the clan basics now as there's no time to chat in the midst of fighting except there is little in the form of rules you hear fight and hunt as you like whoever is fastest gets the prey that's the way we do it only don't forget what our leaders say Traitors aren't given a second chance for any reason. That's about it for them. Don't worry. It's a good old time, isn't it? Great to have you with us. Good hunting to you. Now that's kind of bullshit because uh, if you accidentally hit one of them and you broke the covenant, you know, you can always go back to that NPC that's right under the first spell and you can, like, you can get rid of your sins, but you gotta pay a certain amount of souls for it, and you can get rid of your sins and come back and talk to Elvina, and then you can reestablish the covenant. Don't worry now. You'll be called in soon enough. Hunters with patience score the best kills. Right, okay. Anything else? Don't worry now. Alright, whatever. Now, there is a ninja guy here, and he's kind of invisible-ish. If you're too far away, you probably won't be able to see him. But if you stand close enough, you can see him. He won't talk to you, though. And if you kill this guy, he'll give you a cool little ring. Right? But once you kill this guy, you kind of break the covenant. So I don't want to do that. <laughs> not yet, at least. Yeah, because we're going to need these guys. Well to not attack us for now and I kinda wanna buy some cool stuff from Shiva so I'm gonna be heading back to Blight Town to get some cool items but not right now though because we're gonna be heading towards the Moonlight Butterfly in this video alright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this route instead alright so there's a little path right here if you guys don't know right next to this door there's a little crack here and you can come over here, you know. And there's gonna be a fog door in the front, but don't worry about it. It's not a boss door. And now, right here, don't fall for the bait. You pick up this item, and these guys will ambush the shit out of you. One, two, three, three. I recall it was four, but whatever. So what you can do is take out these guys first. Die, bitch. <laughs> and the last guy right here. Take out these guys. I wonder what the hell did you drop? Oh, purple blooming mouse. Alright, whatever. Now, when you pick up these souls, they won't ambush you, right? If you just run in here and pick up this guy's souls, these guys will jump up and, like, it's gonna be 3 on 1. So, instead of 1 on 1, it's gonna be a 3 on 1. And I don't think you guys want that. Alright, not in Dark Souls. Now, when the Dark Roots Forest. This is kind of a dangerous place because there are those tree dudes, right? So you want to be careful. And he, there is this giant golem dudes. Oh, not really a golem, but these guys. Now, these guys do have magic, right? They have a miracle that slows your ass down. So you want to be careful of that. That, right? Once they do that. You saw how like there was a wave and there was like a little circle thing around me. That thing will slow you down. It's like when you have that, when you move, it's like you have you're overweighting yourself, right? It has like overweighted armor on you or something, but it doesn't really. It's just the effect of the magic. 
and once you kill them, the magic will go away. The spell will go away by itself, so don't worry about it. Just have to kill them before they cast that thing. Because once they cast that thing, you're going to be slow as hell. And they'll probably, like, they'll probably kick your ass <laughs> while you're being slowed down. Because these guys hit hard. So be careful, right? Did I just hear someone jump? I thought I heard like one of those tree dudes jump up again. Alright, so you can see them. Um, they kind of stand out, you know. If you look careful enough, hard enough, and get more. If you dedicate yourself to finding them, you'll find them. Alright, there is more. Uh, there is another one right there. Just have to shoot one arrow at it and they'll jump up. <coughs> Come on. Come on. Don't be shy. The reason why I don't want to get too close is there's two more of those these um forest golem looking dudes here, you know. There's two right there sleeping over there, so you wanna be careful. And you cannot trigger those guys by shooting at them. They can only be triggered through like getting close enough. No, I thought there's one more of those guys. Maybe I was wrong. Alright, now one's waking up. Get rid of these stupid trees here that's getting in your way. Come on, big boy. Come on. Alright. Oh, shit. Not the guy to do that thing. When they do this, try to get as much hit as you can. Because you don't want to have to fight them while they have that um, magic seal on your ass. It's gonna, it's not gonna be pretty, all right. I'm just gonna tell you guys that much. You guys do not want to fight that thing with its stupid magic. Let's see one more of those guys. Come on. Yep. Yeah. Just in case, you know, I. I'm doing this just in case, like, you know how, like, they put up that, oh, shit. Now, when they wind up their arm like that, they're going to grab you, so be careful. And, yeah, I'm just shooting them just in case, because I don't want that, the seal thing, to slow me down. And one of those tree guys whooping me while I'm trying to, like, kill this soldier over here. And here's the Elite Knight armor. This is the armor... That you guys saw right in the beginning of the game, the guy that saved your ass. He has his armor, so in case you guys that that armor was so cool and want to know where to get it, here it is. Alright. So he's down. There is still one more of those guys right up front. Alright, he's gonna be laying down right on the entrance. Just checking if there's one more of those, any more of those grassy guys. Alright, he's gonna do the thing. Aye! <laughs> yeah, and if you're lucky enough, they might drop their weapon for you, so. If you guys want that um, weapon, that's what you're gonna have to do. Or you guys can just go to Shiva in Blight Town, he'll sell you those weapons, so. And that weapon can do the slow mo trick. So if you guys want that, if you guys want that slow mo uh, miracle thing that they're using, you're gonna want his weapon. And you can get these guys' armor too. They're like um right behind Alvina. There's a way to go around here, and then you can just grab their armor. It's in a treasure box. Uh, was that it for everybody? Now that th um, there is still one little item over here back in uh, where the hell did it go? Right here. Oh, there's one of these four these guys. All right, be, be sure to take out this guy right here, all right? Because once you head in there, this guy's gonna jump up, and once he jumps up, once you go in there, there's gonna be a little enemy in there, and when he jumps up, there's gonna be like you're gonna get sandwiched, right? And that's not what we're gonna wanna do in Dark Souls. 
Alright, so if you guys mess with those guys in the eggs that I had, that, the guys that has eggs in the back of their back, <laughs> yeah, if you mess with those guys back in near where ceaseless discharge is, you know, there's a bunch of guys and they have eggs in their back. Now, if you guys hit them or kill them, whatever reason, and got bitten by one of those bugs that spawn in the egg. You know, if you get bitten, it's not a hundred percent chance that will happen. But if you get bitten, uh, you might start growing an egg on your head. <laughs> All right, and I think if you get bitten again or something, I can't remember how you get the egg to grow bigger, but it grows bigger. So yeah, and once you have those eggs on your head, you can't wear a helmet. So the way to get rid of that is there's two snakes right here. In case you guys can't tell, they're acting like roots. You know, fucking bitches. Now, I don't know how they glitched up there. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, I accidentally kicked him. I was gonna slash him, but I ended up kicking him instead. Yeah, heal up. And these snake dudes, alright, these snake dudes are gonna be the guys you have to kill to get that little item to remove those eggs, alright? Now I don't know why I didn't drop it. Usually these these guys drop it. All right? It looks kind of like a strawberry. So you guys, it might be obvious when you guys see it. It looks like a strawberry. So yeah. And there's also one more hidden path right here. You can just uh, get rid of this. All right. So now this doesn't really go anywhere. It just takes you back up to where we came from right and uh, kind of useful because you can get a ring up there you guys are all about rings now there's gonna be a couple of these guys right I think they poison you so you want to be careful of that there's one of those tree things you guys can see it moving and you can just kill them which I think this one was kind of pointless because we could have just walked by it, but let's get that 180 so, you know? Yeah, and there's going to be a couple of those guys going to be here. Uh, let me find where I'm at first. Okay, we came down from there. Right? <laughs> this forest can be a bit confusing. Yeah, we came down from there. And there's gonna be one of the golem guys. All right, uh, those the other guys are gonna be over here. They're gonna start jumping up from the water. Yeah, see. Yeah, bring them over here. You know, you don't want to trigger the golem when you're trying to fight these guys. I'm not sure what they do exactly, so I don't want to get too close. Now, I I know they can't poison. Oh, they can poison you. So that's good. Yeah, I knew it. There's still one more over here. Alright, now he's down, and all that is for some souls. <laughs> souls of Proud Knight, but we can get a, a ring. Uh, I'm not sure how that ring works, but. Yeah, maybe you guys. Maybe. For those of you that are looking for that ring, you guys will know how it works. Yay. Oh, God. I was really trying to avoid using a lot of... Estus. Looks like I have to. I gotta do your stupid little magic trick. Do your magic thing. Come on. Fine, don't do your magic thing. Alright. He's down. And I don't believe there's anything over there. Nope. Alright, so... Going up there, I believe there's going to be two more of those golem guys, so be careful. Two or one. Uh, can't really remember. But you don't have to fight him. You can just run right past him. 
but we're gonna fight him. Ow. Yay. Thank you. I was hoping you do that. <laughs> no, there's only one, alright, so. Yeah, and here's the ring. The wolf ring. Oh wait, it doesn't do the parry thing. The wolf ring, what it does is it gives you poise. Now this is really good, alright? Oh, what the hell. Because what the wolf ring do is it gives you poise, a lot of poise. So when you get hit, you won't get staggered as much. So that's going to be that good. And... Yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for now. We're not going to rest in the bonfire. <laughs> yeah, because I don't want to have to deal with all those enemies again. Trying to get to the boss. We'll just take out the boss with our current arsenal. Well, not really, because we're going to switch out with... Uh, switch out your Dragon Crest Shield for the regular quest Quest Crest Shield. Because the boss is going to be using magic, alright? So, if you guys don't think you can dodge all his attacks, then you might want to be using a magic shield. Now, there is a better shield for it, like those broken ass shield you guys got back, uh, <laughs> I believe, from the Undead Burg. Those hollows, the weak ones, you know, the one that only has a dagger. Sometimes they have, like, a broken wooden shield. Now, those things, they will guard magic. Right, it has like a lot of it has a really high defense for my magic, so if you guys uh manage to get your hands on one then you guys might want to use that. Alright, so here's gonna be the boss and <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna be taking on this boss in the next video. Yeah, it's gonna be the moonlight butterfly and yeah, that's gonna be that and I hope this video has helped you guys out through the dark wood garden. And I'll catch you guys next time when we take on the Moonlight Butterfly. Alright, so yeah, that's going to be that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Holmes, out.